Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to episode 8 of Girls Band Cries. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. A commercial? Right, we, we really don't need to have a crash or anything. <laughs> it's both of your faults.
Maya, because you did. And that it would be her worst decision. I mean, besides... You can't always run away from everything. Oh, girls, I swear to God. It's Nina. How are they going to stop her? Jesus. Whatever comes to Nina's mind, she's just going to go for it. You're right. practice.
I would have kept that as like emergency money though. But I get it. She wants to still be independent. To spend time with you. <laughs> so we're not going to say anything to each other? You sure? They'll be fine. They just need to talk this out. But at the same time, it just depends on the right studio, but I get it. Right.
you just said it because you love to sing. Mm You gotta talk to them. Come on.
They honestly are. Okay. At least she was able to kind of, her, her, well, no. At least, yes, she was able to listen to her former bandmates and her former bandmates were able to talk to her. Now, also, yes, with the girl who was previously friends with Nana, I think the reason why she also said no was because, of course, she knows that the Nina in front of her is not the same Nina that she knows because remember, they really weren't even, like, they were friendly. I would just say they were acquaintances because of the fact is Nina did go, well, Nina really didn't go off on her and such and being like, well, why didn't you say anything? But homegirl was like, you know, hey, because you did what you did, you deserve that. But like, girl, friendship. All that friendship is magic. <laughs> sometimes it can be bullshit sometimes you you end up meeting people that make you look at friendship a completely different way than you did when you were a fucking kid and, and such and, and it's sad because you think everyone is gonna be your friend regardless and you feel like the way you were raised was a good way but people just people judge up and I hate that. That's why I have, like... Mm. I'm like this now with, with people. I feel like... I, I love people, but then I also, like, dislike people. I'll never say that I'll hate people. Um, but I think because I have gotten hurt by f certain people in my past and such... I, I feel like now I don't really want to um, essentially be friends with someone because in the end I already know I'm going to get hurt and such. That's why, like, you know how, like, they say um, don't be friends with your coworkers and such due to certain things? Oh, yeah, I learned something about that um, last year on that situation. I have a coworker who I am like, now we're, me and her, we good. We've been good ever since, you know, we both started working there. But there was another girl. Um, who felt some type of way about certain things and such. And let's say you, you're a friend with that person and you say things to them that you really don't want someone to tell someone else and they go tell them anyway. And then that person tells you what that per the other person said. My biggest thing is from what I have learned in the 30 something years of my fucking life, I... I, I try not to confront people because, like, people say, or no, I'm not going to say people say. My mom say, my mom says, I say, I do act a certain type of way and such. And I get it. Yes, I do. Um, But I try to hear the benefit of the doubt, get the benefit of the doubt. But it's like, you know, sometimes, depending on how much you fuck me over, sometimes I don't want to hear your benefit of the doubt. I don't want to hear your bullshit because... You already fucked me over, so you're going to do it again. And you have. So. Mm. <laughs> That's all I'll say about that. But no, like seriously, the fact is that those two are now finally, they made up. I mean, I technically confessed their love to her. Thank God. We all knew that was kind of coming because, once again, the chemistry between these two, top freaking tier. But 
other than that, guys, that's my reaction to towards episode 8 of Girls Band Cry. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad, of course. And I will see you guys <clears throat> all officially next Friday for episode 9. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.